Do not associate yourself with narcissists. I'm going to talk about why you should not associate yourself with narcissists or cluster B personalities. I'm not just talking about your partners. I'm talking about family, friends, work associates. Do not associate yourself with them. I do not associate myself with any narcissists or cluster B personalities. Of course there are times when you are going to have to deal with them, but only talk is needed. And use the grey rock technique which I have explained in my video, How to Cope with a Narcissist. So why do I not associate myself with narcissists? I don't want negativity in my life. I don't want their negative energy, hate, anger, envy, and jealousy. Narcissists feel inferior around us and feel compelled to devalue or destroy our lives. They are a danger to our self-esteem, self-worth, and self-belief. They do not respect us. They do not respect our boundaries. They are emotionally immo immature, yet most of their decisions are based off of their emotions. You cannot have a serious conversation with them. Like a child, they run from serious issues and prefer to play with their toys instead or they will gaslight you, distorting your reality and making you believe that there is no issue. When you are enmeshed with narcissists, there are always going to be issues. Please watch my video, Enmeshed with Narcissists, for more information on this topic. Ask yourself, what are you going to get from dealing with these types of people? They have nothing to offer you, nothing good anyway, yet they have a long list of negative traits and behaviours to bring into your life. They will abuse and manipulate you, they will gaslight you and distort your reality, they will devalue you and make you believe that there is something wrong with you. All they can give you is material things or empty, fake, physical affection. If the narcissist gives you money, it will never be as much as you really want and it will never be as often as you would like. If they give you physical affection, it will feel fake and empty because they do not have the emotional capabilities or maturity to develop a deep emotional connection with you. Any physical affection they do give to you will always have a, an agenda behind it and will always be for their own benefit because they are self-absorbed. So there really is nothing good they have to offer you. Narcissists will abuse you emotionally and even physically and sexually. They will stalk and harass you. They will use coercive manipulation and various forms of mind control. They are always involved in some form of illegal activity. They are always involved in some form of Ill illegal activity. Narcissists are prone to stalking their victims and developing a, an obsession or addiction to them. Stalking alone is illegal in almost every country in the world. In the UK you will get five years behind bars for doing that. And that's just one charge, excluding all of the other illegal activities they engage in. Narcissists are dangerous criminals. They have no respect for your boundaries, they have no respect for your health, they have no respect for the law, they have no respect for the community.
Do you really want to associate yourself with them? If you ever feel like you want to go back to your narcissistic partner, family, friends or work associates, just remember what these people are. What they are doing is not only immoral, it's against the law. They are dangerous criminals. People like this do not belong on our streets. They are dangerous and a serious threat to our health and our lives. And I'm not saying that I automatically disrespect anyone who has ever broken the law. I'm sure we all have at some point in our lives. But what they are involved in is very serious and dangerous. They also show no signs of ever acknowledging what they have done or taken responsibility for their actions. They have not been held accountable for their illegal activities and behaviours. If you do not self-reflect in your behaviours, you can never learn or grow from them. So narcissists are doomed to only get worse and worse. The more they engage in their illegal activities, the more normal and acceptable it becomes to them. It no longer satisfies their sick needs. It no longer gives them narcissistic supply. It no longer makes them feel powerful and in control. So what started as emotional abuse will soon become coercive manipulation, which then becomes an obsession, stalking, and that turns into an addiction which is no longer satisfying for them. Before you know it, they are physically beating you, raping you, doing anything they can to satisfy their sick need for narcissistic supply. You might think there is no way that the narcissist in your life would ever take it that far. I'm sure there, were, there was a time where you never thought they would emotionally abuse you too or coercively manipulate you or stalk you. I'm sure they never thought they would be doing those things either. But this is exactly how it starts. And soon enough, they will become physically violent. Once you become immune to their emotional abuse, manipulation and stalking, they will have no other option. And before you know it, you could be laying on the ground dead. Whatever happens, it will be tragic. They are experts at avoiding the law and facing consequences for, the, for, for their actions. They are never held accountable for any of their behaviours or illegal activities. This is a recipe for disaster. They are basically allowed to run wild and do whatever they want to do. This is what makes them so dangerous to everyone they come into contact with. So just keep this in mind any time you feel, you feel like you want to associate yourself with them. Knowing all of this, you should not have any interest in associating with them. You should not have any respect for them or view them in a credible way. I do not associate myself with narcissists or cluster B personalities. I am not meant for narcissist cons consumption. I value myself. I respect myself. I have beliefs, values and principles. I have morals. I will only associate myself with people of like kind, people who are self-love abundant or at least practicing self-love.